Welcome back. We have a serious story for you up next. We've got a story about the Mexican border and ISIS. Now, we've got a new report from watchdog group Judicial Watch. They're connecting the two. The group Judicial Watch says a high-ranking Homeland Security official in a border state says that Mexican drug traffickers are helping ISIS cross the border from Mexico into the United States in order to examine targets for possible future attacks. The group's president, Tom Fitton, joins me now with the latest findings. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you joining us, Tom. Uh, who is the source for Welcome. these claims? Well, you named him a high-ranking Homeland Security official. And uh, this gentleman, Mr. Kabir, who uh, has trained uh, terrorists abroad, uh, supposedly according to this report, has been in Mexico for well over a year, has been training folks in, in Mexico, terrorists. And he's boasted in an Italian newspaper to his ability to just get a few men over the border and kill thousands of Americans in a few hours. Tom, tell, and, it, tell, tell the viewer his full name again. Uh, I, I'd be mangling it if I got to his full name, but the last name is Kabir, K-H-A-B-I-R, uh, and he's a well-known ISIS trainer. He's uh, Kuwaiti, and uh, he was reportedly in Mexico. And, uh, you know, it stands to reason, given the open borders and the porous nature of the, uh, the borders there, that terrorists are able to come and go, and they are working with the cartels. You know, the same Italian newspaper report quotes the top uh, Mexican foreign policy official as saying she doesn't understand why the United States is so blasé about this. It's a serious situation, and it requires a more serious response. We can't wait for a wall when you have this terrorist threat that's repeatedly been confirmed by public officials at the, at the Defense Department and Homeland Security uh, through the Mexican border. And Tom, are there other ISIS operatives there besides this gentleman? I mean, they're, and they're located near the border. Also, are they in Texas or any other states? Where are they coming into? Well, they're, they're across the way in, uh, from El Paso. And so uh, that's the general access point that we've been able to uncover. We've had other reports of uh, uh, other terrorists uh, operating in and around that area and uh, terrorists associated with the cartels because some of the people associated with the cartels obviously don't have, have the highest ethics in the world and are terrorists themselves and there was targeting we understand of uh, uh, Chicago uh, Oprah Winfrey's studios back in 2009 you know and the FBI doesn't want to talk about this and a lot of the a lot of the attacks have been prevented I, I think the FBI kind of like watches, uh, has this that policy of watching the terrorists as opposed to rolling them up, and uh, they haven't publicized some of the attacks they prevented. We know about them, and they're frankly, law enforcement's thankful for our reporting because they follow up on it. Uh, they know what we know, and sometimes we know what they don't know. Mm -hmm. Tom, what, you know, what's in it for the Mexican drug cartels to help uh, Mexico-based ISIS uh, terrorists cross over here to scout out attack locations? What's in it for them? money. I look, they're already bringing people uh, across the border. Uh, they're bringing drugs and other things across the border. And they don't need to bring a lot of folks across the border in order to, for the damage to be done. You have tens of thousands of uh, people being smuggled across the border every year. Uh, it's not a big deal for the terrorists to come in through that process. And uh, there's increasing concern for national security perspective about the open border. And, of course, our political class here doesn't want to talk about the national security threat at the border uh, because when you start talking about it like that, maybe we don't start talking about amnesty and we don't talk about the sort of irrelevant things that uh, won't protect us from the dire threat on the border. We take much more aggressive approach and we have, I think you'd have a military approach being offered as opposed to the typical just build right. a wall, which may not even be sufficient given the uh, threat. Quickly, we're running out of time. Has, is the Trump team aware of this, Tom? Oh, I think they're generally aware of it. We haven't been in communication with them about it, but uh, they need to really pursue this. Uh, and uh, if they've got serious folks uh, on this issue, they, they're mildly aware of it. Okay. And you know, certainly they're sensitive about the border security issue generally. Uh, but I don't even think they understand, or at least uh, my, my impression is generally that the Few understand just how serious the threat is in terms of the Islamic terrorism threat as a result of this open border well, in Mexico. Tom Fitton, thank you so much for your time. Will you come back and give us an update if you get any, or just stay on top of this for us? We really appreciate you and we your will. work there. Thanks, Liz.